it with my man, uh, Peanut Butter Wolf. Trying to pop it. What's all up? right, all right. Um, well, uh, won't you, uh, for the people who, who might not be familiar with everything you've done, um, just give a, a quick background of of what you do and the label that you're that you're in charge of and who you kind of put on, you know? Okay. Well, what I do, I, I DJ and put out records and make beats and I do remixes and you know whatever. I, I for me, I've always been a music cat. I've tried to like get in where I fit in any anything that had to do with music because I love like listening to stuff like this right here. Like that right. just gets me like changes that alters my uh, mood and stuff. So. Um, you know, even as a kid, like that was always what I was all about was music. Like some people in high school, they were on the basketball team, and I, I was the the cat that was like making mix mixtapes for the basketball team and stuff. So talking about the Bulls game earlier, <laughs> like, right? You know, just blowing whatever, but right. um, but yeah, I mean, I, I'm in charge of a record label, Stone Throw Records. It's a label I started in '96, and you know, here we are, 2009. God willing, 13 years later, it okay, hasn't yeah. been unlucky for me. The, the, the unlucky 13th thing's been it's right. been a good year still. Oh, for sure. So, uh, uh, some of the I know some of the people that uh that, that people are real familiar with uh with and Mad Lib, Dog, Mad Lib, and uh, and Doom, MF Doom. Those that's that's the triangle. That's like the the um, the pyramid right there. And okay. I don't know who's on top out of those three. Like all three are just as important. So. Okay, and then recently, uh, Guilty Simpson too, right? Well, of course, Guilty Simpson. We put on guilt, or well, I, I shouldn't say we did. Uh, Dilla, like you know, Dilla was talking about Guilty to us. Um, I, well, you know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna strike that. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Dilla gave us a Jaleb, like you know. Oh man, I don't, I'm like talking as if like you guys know the background, but so Mad Lib and Dilla, those are like two of my favorite producers and uh, you know rappers, musicians, and they did an album together called J Lib, and there was one track in particular on there that was standing out to me, and it had uh, Guilty Simpson on it, and I was asking Dilla about it, I was like, oh, man, who is that? You know, when he said <laughs> I, I met the movies with my feet stick out. And, <laughs> like uh, Mad Lib and I, we were just like, uh, you know, who is that? So, right. but um, Dilla was always in Guilty's corner, um, you know, more than anybody I knew. So, okay, that that's how that's how that all happened and stuff. But yeah, I mean, I, we have like, I, you know, I, I'm really, I, I can say with confidence that I, I feel for my personal taste, we have the strongest team in like hip hop music, but just in music in general. Like Dame Dame Funk's up there right now. Doing, okay, doing like soulful like. More '80s influenced um, electric, uh, you know, boogie stuff, and Mayor Hawthorne as well. Like he's on the bill tonight, and he he's more um, the, the style for for that is more like '60s, like Motown, you know, soul influenced. But really, like we're all just music heads. I mean, if you go to any of our houses and look through the records and try to guess whose house it is, you're not going to know whose it is because we all like the same shit. You know? right. We all love hip hop. We all love soul. We all love new wave like out there music you know like psychedelic whatever right now uh like recently uh q-tip been doing a couple of interviews and uh he's kind of giving a background on how he met uh jay dilla and uh, you know how he's working with him and stuff like okay. uh you got any interesting stories that you might want to share about jay dilla that like the people might not know or anything um i mean everything was like interesting with him like really with him like i remember when he called me up and he was like, "Yo, I wanna, I wanna bring you and Madlib out to, to work on uh, my album," I, you know, and we knew that he had just gotten signed to MCA and that he was working on an album with all different producers. Right. So, like for us, when I got that phone call, I was like, you know, I was like walking in the clouds, like that was like some cool shit. Okay. And um, you know, we went out to Detroit and actually. We, our, our plane tickets that he got us were for September 11, 2001, and obviously, like, that got canceled, but we eventually went out there and, you know, did what we had to do, but MCA, we didn't know they were, like, in a lot of financial trouble and stuff, and our stuff got, like, canned, thrown to the left, and um, Madlib put out, Madlib and myself, I should say, we put out something with Dilla, with Dilla's beats with Madlib rapping over it, and it was just more, like, for DJs and stuff, and Dilla called me up. And he was like, let's do some official shit, you know? And then right. the first song he does is called Official, you know? It's like, right. it's the official. <laughs> and I just remember, like, you know, just smiles, like, the whole time. Like, you know, the early the early uh, times of recording that. And, but Dilla was, um, 
him and Madlib, like they were both, to me, they were like from the same planet, you know, and neither of them are from Earth. I don't know which planet they're from, but, or probably not from any of our planets, but like from somewhere, but they, um, I don't know, just seeing them, like they both are really like quiet and really reserved. They're not, they were, they were both, um, more body language, just like Mad Lips a Scorpio, so that's what the, that's the Scorpio way. Anyways, you draw people to you without saying a word. Right. Um, Dilla, he was born in February, so he was an Aquarius, but I guess that's this whole Aquarian thing. But um, he must have had like Scorpio rising or something. I don't know, but he like he was like the same way. So seeing those two in a room together was funny because they would never really talk too much, but. You know, they, they had so much respect and love for each other. And you hear that in the music. Like, every time Madlib made something, it had a little bit of Dilla influence. And when Dilla made something, it had a little bit of Madlib influence. Or maybe consciously or unconsciously or... I don't know. Like, I, I just hear those two, and it was always, like, going like this. And and it really, like, made music go like this. Like, it, what they did for music, like, in our generation, I think, is, like... You know, I can talk about that all day as I have been. <laughs> right. Well, it's cool. There's your answer. Okay, cool. Uh, so, um, like right now, um, you this is the second leg of like a really big tour that you've had, you got going on, right? Like this right, is the second right, this right, is the right, second right, stop yeah, yeah, in Chicago, right? Earlier, yeah. Oh, oh no, oh. You're saying the second city of the U.S. tour? Yeah. No, we've been on the road for, uh, we've done like nine cities already. We're like, we've oh been, really? We've been in the cut. Yeah, oh, okay. we've been like, oh, we did. Cali, you know what? It got uh, it got announced on a lot of people's sites and stuff like a couple days ago. So, right, right. So they only announced the the upcoming shows, but okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so y'all been grinding it out. We've on... been grinding, yeah, okay. yeah. We've been we've done uh, Cali, you know, we did it L. A. and San Francisco and Portland and Seattle and um, we even did Montana. That was like the first time in my life. Like wow. I've been I've traveled the world like at least 10 times like in Japan 10 times in Australia Europe all over right never did on Montana that was, that was like something different but you know right. what though the, the smaller uh, smaller places always they're always like the people who are most thirsty for you know music okay and um uh, as far as like uh, the set tonight you said you got uh, you, the acts for tonight you said you got a uh, Hawthorne yeah. And uh, who else is performing tonight? James Pants is actually on right now. Okay. James Pants is like a, a sign-in. We, we, I just signed him like a year and a half ago. And um, yeah, so Mayor Hawthorne, James Pants, Dame Funk, and myself. Okay, cool. And uh, anything uh, you want to promote, like uh, any new projects you got coming up or anything? I don't really... I mean, I, I feel funny like. Or anything you're working on? I mean, I'm, I'm kind of self-promoting by talking, anyways. But like, right. I don't, I don't really, you know what I mean? I, I like for me, like, always going to the record store and discovering shit on my own. That was always my thing. So. Okay. Um, hopefully, I said something interesting enough for someone to go to StoneStar.com. Right. So, so yeah, be on the lookout. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You no, know? there's a, there's a lot of new stuff. There's always new stuff, and um, yeah, I, I mean, like I said, I, I think like I'm really in a blessed position to, to work with so many people that I've worked with. Okay. All right, great. Well, um, I guess that's about it. You know, um, anything else, you know, anything closing you want to say? Just anything? let uh, Jaja, God, Jehovah, and, you know, Allah, and, and all those guys. <laughs> okay. <laughs> all right, please.